Welcome to Lucy, the eternity she wished for. Now, this was like a visual novel that I've always wanted to read, but I never had the time to do it, nor had I want had that I decided to do anything with it. I was also deciding like what if I should record it and I guess make an experiment video if I ever like try to continue this because you know if you looked at my channel I basically kind of discontinue most of the uh, series I always try <laughs> to uh, get but um, what's this help all right um thank you uh, I know how to play visual level <laughs> all right so I don't know anything else about this other than the fact that it's more of a I can't explain it I guess you'll see when you when you when you start it Let's start it, shall we? Lucy, the eternity she wished for. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I think that's loud. Achievement unlock. Beginning light. Oh, three rocks, three, the three laws of robotics. One, a robot may not injure a human being or through an action allow a human being to come to harm. A robot must obey the orders given it by one by one possessing control or authority, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Oh. A robot must protect its own existence, as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Um, I, okay. Uh, this is because I think Lucy is... The a uh, more unique robot than most, as as far as I read the um the bio, October twelfth. You, what does that mean? You. Ooh, okay. I like this new cursor. It's cool. Hmm. As I turn onto Main Street, I reflexively cover my eyes. Neon signs are as blindingly bright as ever, and those animated love holoverts are even worse. Oh, look at this! Look at whoa! Look at this! Um, you high or something? Whoever came up with the idea to add sound to these hollows should be shot. They're all giving me a headache. This place really changed in the last few years. I can't hear myself over the sound of people. Korea's really come up in the world. All around, you can see signs of progress. Maybe a bit too fast. Too soon. Maybe if I just close my eyes. Hello. Nope. Nothing's changed. In fact, those signs look even brighter. Maybe I'm just feeling a bit out of it. Could it be the weather? Oh, could be the weather. Oh. Change of scenery is in order. I'll take a shortcut home. I don't even know who I am. Get away from this visu vid visual audio assault. Apparently I do not like... Uh, I don't know. Who am I? Programming chaos. Ooh. Look at this, cr look at this credits. Ooh. I mean, ugh. Yeah, kind of credits. I love how it just says you. You don't name yourself, it's just you. Phew. That's better. Just what the doctor ordered. I can still hear the noise in the distance, but at least it's faint now. Gotta admit, this place has a spooky vibe. No one's around, plus the area looks pretty run down. I have expect a ghost to pop out as I walk along. Still, my eyes are sure appreciate the break. Dot 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 dot. You know, in, in anime, in visual novels, they tend to grunt when dots. Although I'm not gonna do it, cause what the fuck. A massive building on the sun catches my attention. K Robotics Co. Ltd. Bet that's what it says on the main gates. One of the biggest robotic manufacturers. They're world renowned. I've even heard of them. They got a. They get a lot of news coverage, being a frequent topic around school as well. The company's claim to frame are their advanced Android series. Not that I would know. Despite being bombarded by marketing everywhere, for me, I'm the kind of person who prefers analog clocks over digital, pianos over synthesizers, acoustic guitars over electric. Ah, I'm beginning to think what this guy is kind of like now. And finally, real people over androids. 
I spot what appears to be crumpled hills of metal in the distance. Yep, their junkyard is my shortcut home. Totally illegal, of course. So I don't intend to get caught. I like how uh, I like how the the credits are like coming in as 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 I'm reading. That's kind of interesting. Hello, junkyard. Here we are, the scrapyard for all lost hopes and dreams. Hopes and dreams? Did you mean? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I've been listening to that a while now, so it's it's been um uh, you know <laughs> it's been getting to me. Everything here is automated. No one's watching the place. Well, there are all these tin can like bots that scurry around the spike spiders. Probably sort through all these junk and they get stuff. And then there's a lot there's a lone sentry bot. As long as I don't get let it spot me, no alarm goes off. It worked for me so far. After all, robotics are fundamentally stupid. Like my classmates told me, a company's dumping ground. I heard you can find some real goodies from time to time. If you're lucky, that is. Sadly, I've scooped at this place on previous trips, and so far I've only come empty. Guess Lady's luck just not with me. Well, I can't tell what's useful, as I'm not really a rubble file. Knowing me, it's probably both. Whatever. They didn't come here for a treasure hunt anyway. Forget about the scrap. This is only a shortcut home. Cutting through this place, I can shave off almost 10 minutes. Risky, but worth it. I, in, I intentionally ignore the new Trasman signs scattered all over the place. Today, however, was different. As I started making my way through, something caught my eye. Ooh, what's that? What happened? Is that... ahead of me? Can barely make it out. Squinting, I come closer. It looks like... Wait. A person? Uh-oh. A woman lying on the ground. She's not moving. Unconscious? Maybe she's hurt. Or something's worse. Growing a bit concerned, I forget all about the sentry. Had I just stumbled upon a crime scene that might have ended up on tomorrow's morning headline news? She needs help. And since I'm the only one around... Mm, look at that sun glare. I dash towards the fallen maiden to lend assistance. And like a gentleman I am, of course every male protagonist in every single freaking anime is a gentleman, don't worry. But as I get close, I stop, in my, I stop in my tracks. I had to do a double take. That's no woman. You gotta be kidding me. What? Oh, I see. I was about to say, how do can you how can you do differentiate a human from a robot? And then I saw like the thing on her um hips. I was like, ah, I see. Anyone could have done that though, actually, now that I think about it. It's so close to the real deal. Two eyes closed tightly shut. Platinum hued hair that seemed to almost sparkle. From afar it looked like a person. But up close, there's no mistaking it. An android. Oh yeah, a random robot shaming a lot for doing nothing. I'm sure, but reading. Useless piece of junk. Hey, don't call that to her. She's sleeping. What are you? Don't scare me like that. Although I've never owned an android, I've seen quite a few around me. The newest models look like this real McCoy, at least from a distance. That's pretty advanced tech. Scary advanced. To prevent confusion, androids are imprinted with serial codes. Each model has its own unique number. I spot the android's cone near its belly. I blow off the dust to get a better look. It reads, P I P I M dash O zero O O one O zero one O number one, with a design that I've never seen before. Maybe it's a prototype. It looks brand new. If so, what's it doing here? A field experiment? It's caked with dust from head to toe. All in all, it's a pretty sad sight. It also hasn't moved a single inch. It looks like it's just out cold. Hey, wake up. Listen, wake up! <coughs> okay. Curiosity gets the better of me. I decided to test it out. Voice recognition is a standard feature for all androids nowadays. So this is like some kind of weird, um, future thingy-majiggy. Let's see if it responds to my voice. 
Nope. Hey, say something. Still nothing. Come on, they're gonna cut you open at this rate. I deliver the light click to the robot's leg. Wow, the sound of the impact does sound like an actual robot. Oh, initiating system. Oh man, what's that? Oh, okay. Oh shit, her eyes are dead. Upon contact, it starts to show a sign of life. Its arms spasm as the same thing turtles around beeping sounds. It's still pretty rigid. The scene looks like it was puggled straight out of an old sci-fi film. Looks like it's running on reserves. Looks like it looks like it's running on reserves. Power. I guess it's still got a bit of juice left. How am I gonna? How am I going to? How am I? Uh, I thought. Okay. Okay. Let's calm down. Let's try and think of a. When it, when the time comes, let's try and think of a good voice for uh, the android person. Those jittery movements are making me feel a bit nervous. The light eye, light in its eyes, have yet to return. I begin to spot a pattern in its actions. It looks like as if it's greeting me with a wave, trying desperately to keep my attention. I glance around. I hear a screeching sound nearby. The sound of metal being crushed. It's probably those little robots doing their jobs. I can tell that they're close. They'll probably reach this place in less than 10 minutes. Oh! And shred this android into a million pieces. Its existence will soon come to an end. I kind of feel sorry about this thing, for this thing. I began to sympathize with the robot, because I realized just how much trouble it was in. Despite being dusty, it's still in a pretty good shape. With some polished, it looked pretty decent. Decent? Descent? What? Even as a current edition, the thing would still be in service. If so, why was it chucked? What happened to its product launch? Looking at it like that, it'd be a waste. All of that hard work down the drain. Maybe it's a bit of tinkering, but I might be able to get it up and running again. Part of me was starting to pity the robot, but the other part was calling me an idiot. I don't need an android in the first place. Plus, I don't like them. To use one around the house? It's unthinkable. And my father will be none too happy about it. I prefer classical music over rock, classical literature over pulp fiction, and finally, humans over androids. Let's face it, I have no use for an android. Eventually, this robot will be scrapped. With the old parks recycled, with the whole cycle restarting anew, Alert! <laughs> Intruder detected! This is the weirdest freaking robot I've seen. Damn it! I've been spotted by that guard. That must trouble someone. If I don't make a run for it, I'm screwed. Leaving it would be the smart thing to do. I gotta go. See ya. Don't, don't leave her? No! Bad end already. I don't know something. She gets scrapped. Story closes. That's it. All right, so that's it for me. Um, where's the save button? Oh, oh my god. I like this whole, like, you know, um, stuff. Hey, Mean Star, how are you doing? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna save. All right, that's cool. I'll play this for another time. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.